Okay, here we go. So I'm going to just start with a short uh, mantra, a health mantra. Then we'll do a little bit of a breathing exercise together, and then we'll move and breathe. And I hope we have a thorough and enjoyable uh, yoga practice together. So I'm going to start with the chanting. How fortunate we are to be as healthy as we are today. We're very, very blessed for our good health. May our life be blessed. May our ability to inhale and exhale be blessed. May our ability to feel our fingers and toes, may that be blessed. May our vision, our hearing, our ability to reason, may that be blessed. Our ability to express ourselves appropriately, right, may that be blessed. May our spirit be blessed. That which we do that helps and supports our families and our community at this time, may that be blessed. May the totality be blessed, all that's conceivable and inconceivable. And may our immediate surroundings be blessed as well. So that's the mantra. Here we go. Om Ayur Dehi Pranam Dehi Om Apanam Dehi Dhyanam Dehi Om Chakshur Dehi Shrotram Dehi Om Mano Dehi Vacham Dehi Om Atmanam Dehi Pratishtham Dehi Om Mam Dehi May all parts of us be blessed. Let's start with a little bit of breathing. I enjoy starting with the, just starting with some simple breathing. I think it links us together immediately. And it's just really nice just to feel our breath and use the breath to feel our body. So this is my little metronome on my mobile device. It's gonna just make one click a second. So it's gonna guide us along as we breathe. We'll start with seven second long breaths, then some eight second long breaths, just a few. And then after that, we'll start moving, okay? So here we go. I'm just gonna sit up straight with my lips together. I'm gonna take a nice inhale first. I'll exhale. And please, join along with me with some breathing. We'll start at seven seconds. Let's try it. Breathe in one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold your breath for a moment. Now breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Two more times. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add a short pause. Exhale. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. One more time. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pause for a moment, please. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Eight second breathing. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Had a short pause. Feel your chest. Exhale, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two more times. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll pause just for a moment. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Feel your chest. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Thank you very much for breathing along with me. This morning we'll start on our hands and knees on all fours. 
So I'll move my chair aside. We may, I may need to use my blanket later on. So I'll keep my blanket by my side. So let's start in Chakra Vakasana on all fours. I'm looking forward to this practice. This, is, this will be a nice practice. I hope you enjoy this one as well. So let's begin first just by simply linking breath and movement together, just to begin to link together. So here I go. I'm going to take a smooth breath in now, breathing in. Exhaling, hips to the heels, slowly breathe out and move back. Let's come forward to the hands, breathing in. Slowly moving back to the heels, breathing out. Link the moving and breathing together. Six more times. Back to the hands, breathe in. to the heels, breathe out. Join the moving and the breathing, link it together. Five more times, inhale up, please. Again, exhale, we'll move back and down, feel how air flows out. We can begin to feel our muscles, the joints, Leave it. Inhale back up. Exhale back and down. Pull in your tummy. Pretend like you're pressing out as much breath as you possibly can. Inhale back up. Three more. Exhale back down. What can you feel? In my body, I can feel my low back muscles are stiff. I can feel them stretching. My shins, my thighs. Inhale back up. Exhale back down. It feels really good to exhale completely. Pulling in my abdomen at the pubic bone. Then behind the navel. Let's do one more. Together. Inhale, let's come up. Just beginning our yoga practice now. Exhale back down. It's always interesting how my muscles feel at the beginning of the session versus the end of the session. Please rest your hands on your low back. Let's practice Vajrasana. Inhale, standing on the knees, let's raise our right arm up. With our exhale, we'll fold. We'll bring the right arm back behind us. Let's alternate. Together, inhale, let's bring the left arm up. Feel my left arm, left shoulder. Now exhale, let's bring the left arm back as we fold. Moving as we breathe. Again, right arm up, one smooth breath. Smooth and unhurried. Sweep and fold, exhaling. Let's turn the head left away from that right shoulder. Can you sense your neck and shoulder area? How about left arm up, one breath? I can feel my forearm, wrist, fingers. Exhale, looking to the right. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's try both arms, please. Inhale, both arms up. If it's possible, interlock the fingers, palms open. Exhale, sweeping and folding and looking left. Inhale again, both arms up, one breath. 
your chest and shoulders, and looking to the right as we come down. That was really nice. Let's come back to the hands and knees. Let's come down onto the tummy just for a little bit. Let's warm up the back muscles just gently, just gently. And here, I'll try to do my best to describe uh, this exercise. If it's comfortable, rest your arms alongside you and turn your head to the right. Bhujangasana. Please don't be too forceful. So start gently. Let's inhale, lift the chest and the head off the floor. Inhale, we'll come up. Center your gaze. Look at the floor. Exhale where you are. As you inhale, lift your torso up just a bit higher. Breathe in. Exhale, we'll look left and lower down. Let's repeat. Inhale, let's lift the chest and head up again, breathing in. Let's stay here, exhale. Gazing at the floor, chin tucked, neck relaxed. Let's lift a bit higher as we breathe in. Can you feel your back muscles? Exhale, lower down, look to the right. Pause for a moment, please. Take a breath in and out. Now, lift the chest and the head again as you inhale. Chest and head comes up, inhale. Try this, as you exhale, bend your left knee. Just bend your left knee. As you inhale, straighten your left knee and lift your chest higher. With your exhale, look left, lower down. Second side, keep your legs straight, just the chest and the head. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend your right knee. With our inhale, straightening the right knee, lifting the chest higher. With our exhale, looking right and lowering it down. Again, please. Pause for a breath. Take an inhale and exhale on your own. Now please keep the legs straight. Lift your chest and left thigh off the ground. Inhale, come up. Exhale where you are. And try this one. Reach your right arm in front of you as you inhale. Right arm, left leg. Ardha Shalabhasana. And now exhale, please. Sweep the right arm behind you and lower down. Second side, right thigh and chest. Inhale, come up, keep your arms behind you. Let's exhale here. Feel that strong right thigh. Now left arm forwards. Inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, look right, lower down, and rest. Wow. Can you feel that shoulders, back, and legs? Now the next one will be both legs. Let's try chest and both thighs. Inhale up. Exhale where you are. Inhale. How about both arms forwards in front of you? Exhale. Sweep the arms back. Look left and lower down. Let's do that one more time. Just the thighs and chest first. Inhale up. Let's stay, exhale, feel those strong legs, thighs, and glutes. Here we go, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, look right, lower down, and pause. Wow, that was pretty powerful. Let's come back to the hands and the knees. I could definitely feel my shoulders, my back, and my glutes. Let's stretch the muscles now. We'll stretch the back muscles a bit. So four times, let's look forwards. Exhale, hips to the heels. Let's come back to our hands as we breathe in. Again, together, exhale, hips to the heels. You can feel stretching now across my back. Two more, inhale, coming forward. Exhale, hips to the heels. So nice. Let's do one more. 
Back to the hands as we breathe in. Chest to the thighs as we breathe out. Nicely done. Now we're gonna just transition. Let's come to the hands again as we breathe in. Can we take down dog? Let's curl the toes, lift the knees, exhale. Adho Mukta Shadasana. Four times. Let's lift our heels up. Exhale, pressing our heels down. Feel your calves, feel your legs. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, down. Feel your shoulders, feel your palms. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, back down. The warmth and innervation. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, back down. Can you stay a breath? Inhale. Exhale. Please inhale again. Uh, with our exhale, let's walk the hands back towards our feet. With our inhale, let's raise our arms wide and up to standing. Inhale up. Arms to the sides. Exhale. Wow, that was a nice way to start class. A little bit of back bending. Did you like that, huh? All right, let's try this one. Warrior pose. Right foot forwards, left foot back. Let's bring the hands together. Virabhadrasana. With our inhale, let's bend the front knee and open our hands. Let's try that. Breathe in. Feel your chest and shoulders and legs. Exhale, hands together, knees straightens. You can widen, lengthen the stance, adapt the form. Let's do it again. We'll breathe in. Breathe out. Let's move forward. Breathe in. Let's stay here. Breathe out here. Now using your breath, inhale, stretch your chest more deeply. Exhale, hands together, knees straightens. That's a nice feeling. Now let's add arm variations. We'll bend the front knee, we'll open the hands. We'll stay here, exhale. And just three times. Let's raise our arms as we breathe in. And open our palms as we breathe out. Look to feel your shoulders, your arms, your upper back and legs. Raise your arms, breathe in. Open our hands, breathe out. Nice and smooth. Raising our arms, breathe in. Opening our hands as we breathe out. Raising our arms as we breathe in. And resting and lowering our arms. Lovely. My breath feels very smooth and long today. Very nice. Let's try the second side. Left foot forwards. Right foot back. Vira Padrasana. It's interesting as the weather changes, you know, my, my body feels a bit different each day. Let's bring the hands together. Virabhadrasana. Ready? Here we go. Inhale, left knee bends, arms open. Just gonna feel that for a moment. And then exhale, hands together. Legs straightens wide or lengthen the stance, just adapting the form. Again, inhale. Exhale. Again, ready? Inhale. Exhale. Let's move into the position and stay in breath. Let's inhale. We'll stay, exhale. Stretch your chest as you inhale. Hands together, exhale. Nice, smooth breathing. Arm variations. We'll bend the left knee, open the hands, breathe in. We'll stay in, breathe out. Doesn't that feel nice? Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms open. Nice, more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms open. 
I'll feel my legs. I can feel them. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms open. Inhale, arms up. And rest. Wow, how fortunate for us to move and breathe and examine and feel our muscles. So lovely. Good, let's begin to stretch our back and legs. Let's try something very simple. Can I get us to rest the hands on our thighs? Inhale where you are. Slide your hands down your legs as you exhale. Inhale, slide your hands back up. Let's do that a few times. Exhale, sliding the hands down. Inhale, back up. How about one more time? Exhale, sliding the hands down. I can feel my back, my legs. Inhale, back up. We'll stay. Exhale here. Very good. Now let's stay in the downward position. Let's inhale again. Here we go. We'll slide the hands down as we breathe out. Let's keep the fingers on the floor. Four times, four times. Inhale, look up. Gently. Exhale, please fold and stretch. Again, inhale, look up. Exhale, fold it. Clear out. Two more. Inhale, look up. Examine and feel your body. Exhale, fold again. What can you feel? I can feel my low back, my hamstrings, my calves. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold down. Stay one time. Inhale. Stay here. Exhale. Slide the hands to standing. Inhale. And rest. Exhale. So nice, so nice. Very good. Let's try simple side stretching. So I enjoy this one where my feet are close together, this variation of Padasana. We'll stand with our feet close together. Simple lot side stretching. Ready? Good, okay, here we go. Inhale, arms up. Beautiful. Exhale, shoulders to the right. Not too far, very good. Feel the left side of your rib cage. Inhale, back up. Gently, please. Shoulders to the left. Oh, feel the right side of your rib cage. Gently, please. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. And inhale back up. It's nice, huh? Exhale to the left. It's not forceful. Inhale back up. Exhale to the right. Let's stay just one time here. Stretch as you breathe. Please inhale. Stretch a bit more deeply. Exhale. And switch sides. Coming back up. Inhale. Sweet. Over to the left. Exhale. Let's stay a breath. Inhale. And gently stretch as you exhale. And back up, inhale. Please lower your arms and pause. Very, very nice. Can you feel that? Shoulders and sides. Our bodies are very valuable. The intention of these classes is not to damage or overstretch. It's just to assess and feel. So please take the feet apart, triangle pose, trikonasana. We'll feel the same muscle group, shoulders and sides. This is my right arm. I'm going to turn my right foot out. Let's try it. Trikonasana. Inhale, arms apart. Beautiful. Exhale to the right. Beautiful. Inhale back to standing. We'll do three of them. Exhale to the right. Moving as we breathe. Inhale back to standing. Let's bring the right forearm onto the right thumb. Now the top arm is the left arm. Inhale, we'll bring the left arm over 
Look to feel the left side of your rib cage, and then exhale, bring the left hand behind you onto your low back. We'll do four of them. Inhaling, sweep and reach. That's such a nice sensation, isn't it? Exhale back, feel your shoulders. Feel that left shoulder. Inhale, reaching, feeling the side. Exhale back, feeling the shoulder. We're just looking to feel warmth and circulation and heat. One more time. Inhale, reaching over. And exhale back. As we breathe in, let's stand up. We'll pause for a moment and rest. And you can feel, hopefully, that left shoulder nicely stretched and warm. Second side, we'll turn the left foot up. Ready? Here we go. Oh, so nice. Inhale, arms apart. Exhale, gently to the left. Can you feel your legs? Inhale, stand up, please. Exhale, gently to the left. Nice. Inhale, back up. Now this time, let's bring the left forearm to the thigh. Okay, so now the top right arm. Inhale, right arm over. Exhale, back. Nice, smooth movements in breathing. Inhale, over, deep breath, straight arm. Exhale, back. So nice, I can feel my fingers and wrists. Inhale, reach over. Smooth, exhale, back. Once more, inhale, let's reach over. Nice, smooth exhale, bringing our arm back. Now, inhale, we'll stand up. We'll turn the left foot in and pause. Awesome, very good. Okay, how about let's keep the legs apart. Let's do a forward fold with the legs apart. Let's look to feel our hips, hamstrings, inner thighs, and calves. So we'll do this prasarita padottanasana. So we'll keep the legs apart, okay? Let's try it. Inhale, arms open. Exhale, bend your knees enough to bring the fingers to the floor. Oh, feel those hips and abductors. Inhale, look up. Exhale, head down. Let's do that twice more. Inhale, look up. And exhale, head down. Can you feel your hamstrings, hips, inner thighs? Inhale, look up. And exhale down. Let's stay in the downward position for a breath. So relax your shoulders and stay and breathe in. Stretch as you breathe out. So this is that very simple lateral variation. On your inhale, bend your right knee. Walk your hands near your right foot. Stay here, exhale. And we'll take a breath in. With our exhale, we can bend the right knee a bit more deeply. So adductors and hips. Now second side, let's bend the left knee. We'll walk the hands to the left. We'll exhale here. Can you feel your legs? Stay a breath, breathe in. You can tuck your head as you breathe out. Let's do the first side again. Move to the right, breathe in, no sharp pain. Stay here, breathe out, and down. Breathe in where you are, and exhale, stretching a bit further. Second side, moving to the left, left knee bends. Exhale, stay here, please. Feel your body as you breathe. Let's inhale together. Exhale, stretch. And now finally, just come back to the middle and fold down the middle. Feel that nice difference. Breathe in, breathe out. And then finally, we'll come to standing as we inhale. Well done. We'll lower our arms. We'll step the feet together and pause. And that's nice, right? Because you can feel that whole hip socket, right? That abductor, abductor, hips and hamstrings. Well done. Okay. Let's come closer to the floor. I'm going to stand at the back of the yoga mat. So. I hope you enjoy these next few exercises. I really feel that 
and I'd like to practice them for my body, so I hope you enjoy them. We'll stand with the feet close together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, let's fold. We'll bring the hands to the floor. Three times with our inhale, let's glance across the room. Breathe in, look up. Keep moving as we breathe. Exhale together, let's fold. That feels nice. Inhale, look up. And together, exhale, let's fold. How about one more time? Inhale, look up. Don't overstretch, so no sharp pain. Exhale, fold. Just feel. Assess and feel. Keeping the head tucked down, we'll breathe in. Breathe out. Walking the hands forward, now we're facing dog. We'll breathe in. Breathe out. And how about lifting the heels again? Breathe in. Heels back down, breathe out. Look at the nice difference. I feel my calves are way more free. Heels up, breathe in. Heels down, breathe out. Tummy in, feel your arms. Heels up, breathe in. Breathe out. Let's stay for a breath, you guys. Inhale and exhale, please. Feel your arms and legs. How fortunate we are to feel. Let's come to the knees as we breathe in. Chakravakasana. Three times. Exhale, move back. Tummy in. How lovely to move and breathe. Inhaling back to the hands. Exhaling hips to the heels. How lovely to practice yoga together. Once more to the hands. And to the heels. All right. Here comes the fun stuff. Well, I mean, it's all fun. Let's stand up on the knees. <laughs> I'm going to pad my knees with a blanket, so... If you wish, it's a good idea, you can pad your knees with a blanket. This is going to be lunging. So after I pad my knees, I'm going to bring my right foot forwards in front of me. So here I go. I'm going to step my right foot forwards. Be careful here so you're not straining your low back. This is going to be more about stretching the front of the torso than creating any compression or stress in the low back or sacrum. We'll start with the right foot forwards and both hands on our right knee. Ready? Here we go. Inhale, bend your right knee, move forwards. Ekapada Ustrasana. Exhale, move back. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, move forward. Look to feel a stretch across your right, or excuse me, your left thigh. Exhale, move back. So thigh and hip flexor. Inhale, move forwards. Exhale back. Inhale, move forwards. Exhale back. Now let's stay in the pose just for a breath or so. Join me. Inhale, move forwards. Exhale here. Now together, let's breathe in. Exhale, lunge a bit more deeply. Let's do that one more time, please. Breathe in. Exhale, lunge a bit more deeply. Breathe in. And move back to the starting position. Oh, I can feel the heat building. Now we're going to raise the left arm and bend the right knee. Ready? Left arm up, right knee bends. Breathe in. Stay and breathe out. Can you feel that left side stretching? Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lunge. Please, inhale, reach up. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, reach up. And we'll come back and rest. Oh my gosh, it just got 10 degrees warmer here. I'm going to bring my right foot down. And switch. Let's take the left foot forwards. These are nice, huh? Lunges, lunges, lunges. Left, both hands on the left knee. Ekapada Ushtrasana is the name of the exercise. Can we begin? Let's try. 
Inhale, left knee bent. Exhale back. Oh, hello, thigh and hip flexor. <laughs> Inhale, left knee bent. Exhale back. Let's do two more. Inhale, forwards. And exhale. These vital, valuable legs. Inhale, forwards. I use, it, I use them every day. Exhale back. Okay, so now we'll stay for a breath or two, two breaths. Let's lunge forwards on the inhale. Stay here, exhale. Shoulders can relax. Follow your breath, breathing in. Exhale, lunge further. One more time, breathing in. Exhale, lunge further. Please, breathing in. And back to the starting position. The last were the arm variations. Here we go. Let's increase the temperature again. Left knee bends, right arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Nice two deep breaths. Inhale, let's reach up. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, let's reach up. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, reach up, and rest. Oh, wow, that was so great. Let's bring the left knee down and pause. So now, this is what I've been waiting for for my body, Ushtrasana. So please be very careful with your low back and sacrum. Nice, strong glutes, stretch your chest and shoulders. Let's see if you can bring the fingertips to the heels, Ushtrasana. So nice stretch in the front. Inhale, reach back. We'll do three breaths. Exhale. Feel. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, stand up. Oh my goodness, that was powerful. Oh, wow. Let's come back to the hands and the knees. I definitely felt my chest and my shoulders and my thighs. Now we're just stretching the low back once or twice. Back to the hands and knees. We'll look forwards. Exhale, hips to the heels. Not too far. Back to the hands as we breathe in. Exhale, hips to the heels. So just feel a little bit of a symmetric stretch across your low back. Okay, now come forwards onto your tummy one more time. I've got a huge surprise for you. Some of my friends enjoy this exercise. I hope you enjoy it as well. And you know what, I'll give us a couple of options. We're gonna start on the abdomen with our arms at our sides. And we'll look to the right. So we've already done that Shalabhasana where we were lifting the chest and thighs. So now we're going to practice that Shalabhasana again. Let's try it. Ready? Inhale, lift your chest and legs off the ground. Inhale, lift up. Exhale where you are. Inhale, lift a bit higher. Exhale, look left and lower down. So I'll try to describe the next variation. So this is, we've done this numerous times. The hands rest on the low back, and we're interlocking the fingers. This is the one where we straighten the arms and pull the hands to the wall behind us. Legs and arms straight. Let's try it. Inhale, lift up. Stay there, exhale. Inhale, lift higher. Stay there, exhale. Inhale again. Look to the right and rest. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask, most of us can repeat that simple exercise again, so there's no need to strain. But listen, can you bend your left knee, hold your left ankle with your left hand? Carefully. If it's too much, just do the previous exercise. Bend your right knee, hold your right ankle with your right hand. Dhanurasana. Can you lift your chest and thighs? Inhale, lift up. Exhale. 
inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, rest. Let's do it again. Dhanurasana. Can we try? Rest if you need to. Otherwise, chest and thighs lift. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And please rest. Straighten your legs and pause. Now listen. This is a great place to pause, but I know some of my friends, I know some of you guys are really strong. So this is going to be side bow or parshva danurasana. And so here, I hope you have health insurance. <laughs> I hope, hope you're at the platinum level, right? So please, please, please be careful. I'll bend the left knee, hold the left ankle with the left hand. I'll bend the right knee, hold the right ankle with the right hand. We're going to go from side to side. We'll start just moving to the left. So I'll be facing towards the camera if you want to watch. Inhale, lift your chest and thighs up. Exhale, roll to your left side. Stay in breath. Now, inhale, roll back up. Exhale, roll to the right side. Padrishva Dhanurasana. Stay in breath. Inhale, roll back to the middle. Exhale, rest. Wow, did you put that on Instagram? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so powerful. So powerful. Please come back to the hands and knees. Everything else from here is downhill. That was so well done. Nice, powerful pose. So now three times, just to begin to move in the direction of forward bending. Let's inhale together. Not too far, so don't go too far. Exhale, hips to the heels. So no sharp pain. Inhale to the hands. Exhale, hips to the heels. Let's do that one more time. Inhale to the hands. And exhale, hips to the heels. Let's rest here just for a breath. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's lie down on the back. It's amazing all these exercises we do and how powerful they are. So let's just do one more little back bend. So here I want to do something for the neck and shoulders. So it's just some dynamic movement for the neck and shoulders. Let's practice bridge pose. Vipada Pita. So this is also a back bend, but Notice the quality of this back bend is much different than the one that we previously practiced. So now my knees are bent, my feet are on the floor, my arms are at my sides. Together, let's lift our hips and raise our arms. Inhale, please. Lift your hips, raise your arms up and over to the floor behind you. With a nice smooth exhale, lower your arms and bring your upper back. Please, mid back and low back down to the ground. We'll do four of them. Inhale, lift up. Feel your toes, feel your feet, feel your thighs, feel your glutes, shoulders, arms. Exhale, please. Lower down, feel your shoulder blades. Mid back, low back, sacrum and tailbone. Inhale, lift up again. Can we stay here? Just stay here. Exhale one time. Sense your hands, your shoulders, your chest, your legs. Inhale again. And now exhale, lower down again. And then the last one that we'll practice is that arm variation with the fingers interlocked behind us. Let's lift our hips and arms as we breathe in. Like we did earlier, bring your arms down as you breathe out. Interlock your hands, straighten your arms. Let's take a good three breaths. Dvipada Pita. Inhale. Exhale. Feel your toes, feel your feet, feel your thighs, feel your glutes. Inhale. Exhale. Feel your shoulders, feel your arms, tuck your chin, feel your wrists. One more time. Inhale. 
Ja, så ja. Inhale. Let's relax the fingers and we'll bring the spine down to the ground. Good. Okay, so let's bring the feet off the floor and let's gently place our palms on our knees. Five times, Apanasana, we'll breathe in. And as we breathe out, let's bring the knees towards the chest. Look to feel your sacrum and your low back area pressing, stretching into the ground. Inhale, knees move away. Exhale, knees to the chest. Three more. Inhale, knees move away. Exhale, knees to the chest. Two more, please. Inhale, knees move away. Knees to the chest. If you remember, pull in your tummy below the navel, behind the navel. Feel your abs. Let's do one more. Inhale, knees away. Exhale, knees to the chest. So we have one more, we have time for one more. This will be twisting. And today, I think it's probably safer for my back to keep my knees together. So a symmetrical twist. So rather than twisting one leg straight, one leg bent, let's keep both knees up. So let's be cautious. Let's breathe in. We'll take the knees to the right side about 50%. With our inhale, we'll come back up. Let's take our knees to the left side, about 50%. We'll do three on each side. Inhale, back up. Let's take the knees to the right side. Inhale, back up. Let's take the knees to the left side. We'll do it one more time dynamically. Inhale, let's bring our knees back up to the middle. Exhale, we'll take the knees to the right. That feels so good. Inhale, let's bring the knees back up to the middle. With our exhale, let's take our knees over to the left. So now finally, let's bring the knees all the way back up and over to the right. And please, Let's stay here for a good four breaths. We'll place the right palm near the left thigh. Let's breathe in. Let's breathe out. That feels so nice. I can feel my low back, my sacrum. Three more breaths. Let's breathe in. Breathe out. How's your left shoulder and your left arm? You can also lower your left arm. Relax your left hand. Again, let's breathe in. Let's breathe out. How much air can you press out? Let's breathe in. And breathe out. That feels so nice in my chest, in my shoulder, in my back, and my hip. May we try the other side? Let's bring our knees back up. And over to the left. We'll stay here, we'll breathe in, breathe out. Let's stay here, breathe in, and breathe out. How nice, how nice to practice yoga together. Breathe in, it's good for us, breathe out. Let's do one more breath. We'll breathe in. Breathe out. How's that right arm and shoulder? Can you relax it? Okay. Let's bring the knees to the middle. We'll place our hands on our knees. Exhale, knees to the chest. Inhale, knees move away. And exhale, knees to the chest. That was so nice. Let's place the feet on the floor. We'll rest for a minute or two. It seemed like the practice was building and then building, and now it's like, oh, I feel so grounded and relaxed. Can we rest for a minute and a half, relaxing everything?
May we stay for just 30 more seconds, 30 more seconds. Check to make sure your hands are relaxed and your shoulders and arms and torso and glutes and legs. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason I'm smiling. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm going to begin to reawaken. Let's move on with our day. I'm going to bend my knees and turn over onto one side just for a breath or two. Oh, what a fun practice. That was so fun for me. I'm going to sit up on my cushion just for a moment. Before we leave and move on with our day, can we do one simple thing? It only takes three or four breaths. Can we sit up straight? Feel that nice difference? Let's just sit for just three or four breaths. Can we just take a moment and just acknowledge to ourselves how fortunate we are to be this healthy? Just let's stay a few breaths and just to recognize that obvious, how fortunate we are. I feel very, very fortunate for my good health today. Very, very fortunate. And I feel very, very fortunate to be able to practice yoga together with you. Very, very fortunate. May we continue on in good health. Thank you very, very much. Namaste.